Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with these cups that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using six of these cups and I'm going to be trying six different types of water. Plain water, they're not flavored. Uh, that could be another video. I have some flavored waters that I want to compare also, but we're going to do the plain waters first. And uh, if anybody of you out there are like me, I don't like water. It takes everything I can in me to drink water. I try and drink it. I force myself to drink it. And yeah. And the water that you get out of the faucet is so filled with chemicals. That's all I can taste in it. So I don't even drink water from the faucet. So let's try some of these bottled waters that... I found here and uh, we're going to compare them. Now, I tried just one out of these six that I had before and I had this, the Fiji water. It's from the islands of Fiji. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pour some in, in one of the cups and I got all different cups so we don't, um, you know, mix up the mix the flavors of the water because I want to get the right amount okay so this is the Fiji and this has always been one of my favorite waters but it's expensive you know sometimes you can get a good deal on it you know get it on sale or whatever but to be drinking it all the time that can get pretty pricey but I love this water. Uh, it goes down very, very smooth. And it tastes fresh. So this always was one of my favorite. If I had to drink water, this would be the one so far. Because there's five other ones here that I haven't even tried before. So that takes care of the Fiji. Now what cup did I use? Oh boy. Oh, okay, I put it off to the side. Oh, here we go, guys. All right, so the next water that I want to try is this. This is Voss. Voss or Voss, it's called. And let's see, where does this come out of? Oh, I can't even read it with these glasses. But I'm trying to see where it comes out of. It's an artisan water. That's what it is. Oh, not an artisan. Artesian. Artesian water. That's what this is. An artesian water. And I don't know, guys. I can't. I have to take my glasses off. That's the only way I'm going to be able to see where it comes from. And this comes from that Nestrom, Norway. So, Voss comes from Norway. And it's an artesian water. Okay. And it has all everything on the back to all the nutritional facts on it. And uh, everything's zero. <laughs> Calories are zero. Everything's zero. Okay. So let's try the Voss or Voss, however they want to say it. All right. Now we're going to compare it to the Fiji. This is good, but I'm not getting, let's see, one more. I'm not getting the same, like, freshness that I get from the Fiji. And I'm not getting the same smoothness that Fiji has. I think they got that down pretty pat, you know. But the, the Fiji tastes smoother. Not smooth, yeah, smoother to me than the Voss does. Okay, the next water that we're going to try, oh, let's see, which one should we try? We're going to try this, Aquapana, natural spring water, the smoothest taste, Toscana. It's from Tuscany, Italy, and that's what it looks like. It says, crafted by nature, perfected by time, 14 years. 
Each drop is naturally filtered by earth and perfected by time on its 14 year journey to the spring for a smooth taste. All right, so it has a mineral balance for a smooth taste like no other. Okay, so let's try this one. This is a new cup. I'm gonna pour this. Now they're saying this is a smooth taste. I've never had this aqua, aqua pana. This is a spring water, this one here. I think Fiji, is Fiji a spring water or an artisan? No, artesian. Yeah, artesian spring water. So that's an artesian. It looks like all of these so far. All right, let's try it. It's smooth. It's not bad. It's water. <laughs> That's what we're trying, right? Hold on. It is. It's a smooth water. It's spring water. When my grandmother, she lived in Maryland, but she lived, as I said before, way out in the boondocks. And they used to get their water from a spring. So I kind of like every summer when I went there, I would drink the spring water from the natural spring that they had there where she lived. And uh, it's very fresh tasting spring water to me. You don't taste a lot of chemicals in it. This isn't bad. It is smooth. Um, again, yeah, and there's no aftertaste to it. You know how sometimes you get aftertaste in water? I don't taste any aftertaste in that. Here's a water that I've never tried and I want to try. And let me make sure this is over here. Okay. This water is pure and pristine imported from Earth. This is bio bottle, BPA free. This is eternal water comes from the most pure and pristine sources on Earth. Now, I never heard of this. This comes from Spring Brook, Spring Brook Springs, New York. Say that 10 times. And from the Allegheny Mountains. That's where this comes from. So we're going to try this. And it's right there. That's the label. And that the bottle's pretty. Nice bottle. So let's give this a try of this water. Now, it doesn't say how it's supposed to, um, it's, uh, it's naturally alkaline. It goes through layers of rock to provide a pure, uncontaminated source of water. Okay, let's try it. Mm. No, see, to me, and I know what is tasteless, but not always. No, I don't like it. This does have a taste to me. And I don't know. If you ever tried it, this here, let me know what you thought. Mm. I don't know. There's something, it says naturally alkaline natural electrolytes, and natural pH. But to me, this has a flavor, and I don't care for this one at all. Mm -mm. Nope. Let's try this one here. This is an electrolyte sports formula, body armor sports water. And it's a pH of 8+. plus. So there you go, body armor water. And... Who makes body armor? Now this comes out of New York, manufactured by Sport Nutrition New York. New York, New York. Okay, so let's try this. This is electrolyte. Yeah, I don't care for that. That water, I'm telling you, I could taste something in it that I don't like. 
All right, let's try the body armor. That's good. Like there's no flavor, you know, no aftertaste to it. It's not as smooth as the some of these other waters, but it's okay. That one's all right. And then the last water that we're going to try is this core. Core hydration. This is 7.4 pH. Perfectly balanced water. This is with electrolytes and minerals in it. Maybe that's what's given it, you know, when they put the electrolytes in it or something. Like it's not pure spring water. Then you can get like maybe a taste from it. Because that's what I'm finding out with these electrolyte waters that... I can kind of like taste something, you know, it's, it's not fresh, you know what I mean? It's not like a fresh spring water would be. Okay, so this comes, this is made in the USA and yep, it has electrolytes and minerals and it's ultra purified. Okay, so let's give this a try. This is the core. I'll squirt it in the cup. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, nothing, you know, it's it's water. Nothing special about it. So these electrolyte waters... Let, let me let me tell you about these. This one here, this gave me an aftertaste taste that I've never, you know, unless you drink it out of a faucet where you can taste all the chemicals that they have in it to purify your water, then you know what I'm talking about. I can taste something in here, and I don't like this one at all. Not at all. The body arm is good. That's not bad. Um, yeah, but again, I think I, the, with the, when they put the electrolytes in it and stuff like that, it kind of makes it not so fresh. The same with the core, you know, this aqua pana natural spring water. That's good. I like this. That, that wasn't bad at all. The Voss, that's good. This one was from what? Norway, I think I said. Yeah, that was good. Now, that's nice and smooth, too. And you don't get that after flavor. Like, yeah, because I can still, like, taste something in this, chemical-wise. That could be just me, though. Like I say, even in all my Taste Test Tuesdays, everybody's tastes are different. You may love it. But, again, this is my favorite, Fiji. Yeah, I guess I'm spoiled with this one, but the Voss is a close second. I mean, you know, either or. I can drink either one of these, really. Um, I This, too, I believe is kind of on the expensive side also, the Voss. But these two are really, really good. I like those a lot. And then I like this, uh, this Italian water from Tuscany. I like that a lot. The electrolyte waters, they're okay. Um, the core, I guess, you know, gave me the least flavor, I guess. But this one here, I didn't care for at all. Okay, so that is what I did with the Dollar Tree cups. Everybody's like, oh, I can't wait to see what you do with the cups. And I tried to give them a hint. I was like, oh, it's not going to be a craft. I'm not going to do a craft with it. So anyway, that's my video for today. I want to thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone has a great day. Stay safe out there. And until next time, bye now.